Hi everyone, it's Sue here from Scrappy Do Sue. I'm here today to do um, another episode of the Marguerite Miller 52 week collage challenge. Um, and today it is hashtag CW Planner 25. So, the five prompts that we have for this particular one is something in the shape of a triangle, instructions, a formula, in brackets, whatever that means to you, something stenciled and a place. The bonus is a crossword or newspaper magazine puzzle. I'm not going to use that today. So I'm just using the five prompts. So the things I found were now I have made or I'm going to make a triangular stamp, a homemade one. I don't have a stamp stencil, unfortunately. I have ordered one actually. So when it comes, I'm going to stick it in the collage, but when it comes, I will stamp a postmark over it. So this is a stamp homemade stamp in the shape of a triangle so we just glue that down to there I thought that was quite pretty it's a very big stamp I mean <laughs> it's probably too big for a normal envelope <laughs> we could say it's large letter we have large letter stamps in the UK anyway that's the triangle now instructions I have got some vintage um cookery pages and these are soups so this is a recipe for soup um there's tomato soup mulligatawny soup kidney soup yuck oxtail yuck cucumber soup celery soup haricot bean soup so we've got a choice of soups so we'll pick one of those a formula well the formula to me is lots of symbols and numbers and equal signs and multiplication and all of that so i've picked uh i've got a piece of vintage um formula here so it's it's usually something in a long line it's a bit like trigonometry type thing that you learn at school where things are in brackets and all of that and you've got b squared and equals n squared and all of that i hated maths at school i did get get my um O level in maths but I didn't like maths at all and funnily enough neither did my girls but I never let on that I didn't like it either because when you're bringing up children I think you shouldn't transfer your fears and hates to them dislikes I should say hates a strong word dislikes right I'm going to put that down and then something stenciled and go I've got some Stampers Anonymous stencils here and I've got lovely butterfly ones and little dragonfly. So I'm going to use one or more of these and stamp the back with that. And then the last thing is a place. And I've picked a place very close to my heart. And Charlotte, my eldest daughter, lives in Hampshire. She's very lucky she only lives minutes away from it. And it's Stonehenge down in Wiltshire. So that is where or the place I'm going to put on on my collage so let's get started don't know what it's going to look like don't know how it's going to turn out so we're using the a5 notebook it's finally got a new life because it was never used i'm going to use my brush and i'm going to do my usual grunging up the edges so let's see if the brush is any better than than the dobber I don't know if it is I think it's good for getting down into the cracks down here where the signature is so I hope everyone's okay today today is Monday it's my work free day yay still not really kind of used to it to be honest I kind of wonder what I'm going to be doing <laughs> Uh, I suppose you do miss the routine of work to a certain extent. Um, yes. So let's get going. So, hmm. I want to. I'm just wondering whether to try and grunge over. I'll use the dauber for this. 
but where I'm going to stencil, I think we'll try and just grunge up the whole page actually, thinking about it, because I want to stamp over the back and I'm going to use my black archival ink for this. So I'm thinking, actually that looks really nice I think. Um, I'm thinking now of stamping first. So let's get the ink ready here and let's have a look at these. I've not even used, well, I might have used the dragonfly once. <laughs> um, let's see, which one should we use? That's kind of an advertisement. That's uh piece out of a book I think it's talking about butterflies um collaged area that's three butterflies and that says field note I think we'll use this one actually I like quite like the look of this so I'm just going to actually it's probably better if I do it this way I don't know how this is going to work don't know if I've ever stamped quite like this before so I think we're just going to stamp it now I'm going to have to press down and leave it for a few seconds because this book is bumpy now well that's okay I like that so I think we I'm going to get this all over my hands aren't I Ugh. Uh, I think that we will put another one down here and we're going to try and press down all across it. I love these particular stamps, these rubber ones. And these are Stampers Anonymous. That's beautiful. I really like that. So that's enough stamping for now. We may stamp a few more bits on it in future. So yes, the Stampers Anonymous. Um, it's called Stampers Anonymous Classics. It's Classics number 17. So if anyone's interested in the number, reference number for it, it's there. So, okay, let's put that to one side now. Okay, so we want to put our formula on. We also want Stonehenge on. So, let me... I was just looking for my grungy tool which I can never find when I want it oh here it is it's so tiny so I'm just gonna grunge around the edge of this because I've cut it out I actually printed this off the um, internet this morning it's amazing what you can get off the internet that isn't copyrighted so I I do look on graphics fairy a lot for different things that's a good place to get extra things to enhance your digitals you know sometimes so we're just going to I know it's already dark this but I just want to go around there now So we have rain again here today, but I'm not complaining when I hear what uh, some states in America are going through at the moment. It's awful. I really do feel for you. We couldn't stand the heat that, well, I couldn't stand the heat we had here, let alone the type of heat some of you are going through at the moment. It's absolutely awful. I don't think I'd survive. I really don't. I'm not very good with heat. So this, this tear ruler is suddenly not performing very well and it's not me, it's it got itself bent, I don't actually know how it happened and um, so this picture came out of my English Heritage magazine, I'm not a member anymore, I cancelled it because I realised that there weren't many sites down south, not in close proximity, where I could just up and 
go and visit, you know, and somebody I know has a, um, what do they have? National Trust membership and there's a lot more in this area for National Trust members. So I figured that I was paying really for nothing and the only time we were using it really was if we went away and we had a look round and that was only if we were lucky enough to be able to take the dog in with us because we always take if we go on holiday in this country invariably we take the dog and um, he's always with us so we want the recipe and i think i think we'll have i think we'll have the tomato soup i love tomato soup i'm gonna have something i like <laughs> I like tomato soup a lot. I've never actually made it though, I have to say. It's all too convenient to buy a tin of it. No very well known brand name. That there tomato soup is lush, so that sort of comfort soup for me in the winter if I feel I need something warm and you know, sustaining. I always wondered whether a soup make would be nice, but again, my husband would say it was a, you know, one of those flash in the pans. <laughs> so I thought we have that there. We have the place up there. We have that there. And then we've got this stamp. So we want to stick the stamp down use the art glitter i've got some new scotch new scotch glue sticks that came today i'm very happy very happy indeed with those so i want it to go i want some of that backing showing so as if it's been torn off something you know and I will stamp the postage stamp stamp on it when it comes I haven't obviously never had one and I've always wanted one though so it made me buy one it's only I don't know two, 270 or something like that so I think I can afford that so I thought maybe we'll put the stamp kind of in the middle there. Um, well, it's not in the middle, but I don't know whether... I don't. Yeah, I think I'd rather cover up a bit of the formula there than, and have that kind of there. And then we could probably stamp something down there. So I think that's what we're going to do. So I still... I haven't found my glue book. I don't know what I've done with it. I, I'm still using this book page. I keep using it and I've got a actually got a bit of scrap printer paper. This is printer paper that's printed on recycled paper. Um it's a couple of sheets I had to bring home from work to, to do some work from home and I just cut the bottom half off. So I don't like wasting paper, so I, I tend to rip it down like that into quarters and I'd use it as a little scrap pad to make notes on and they sometimes at, the, at work they buy the supplier sends us this paper and it's like a oh it's a horrible grey colour <laughs> so I thought that might make a good glue page so we use that today and I'm just going to finish off this yoohoo stick before I start my other glue because I'm sure this is only it only needs a few swipes of it and so we're going to put this down first this formula I think yeah it only needs a few swipes of it and then it's finished so look it's already nearly down to the bottom and I only opened this one last night so they really are not economical to buy, these small ones. So that's a lesson I learnt. And it's not 
very it's all clumpy and bumpy and gone a bit hard actually right so let's let's put this down I think we'll have it right over to the edge here like so let's get my bone folder give that a press down you'll be very careful when it's just copy paper because sometimes I've torn it by doing this with the bone folder okay and then I'm going to have that overlapping kind of there so it's not even sticky that's it's probably gone a bit cold because it's it's not very warm here today and I've got the window open though so I do like a nice bit of fresh air coming in I'm going to put that there, that's Stonehenge. Oh, it's a, it's a lovely place, Stonehenge. Oh, I did go there with my daughter all oh, before lockdown. Everything's pre-lockdown, isn't it? I went to her, stayed at there for a whole week. It must have been about 2019, something like that, or earlier. And it was great. We... We actually had a few days out because she's also got Avebury near her and Silbury Hill, I think it is, another monument. So it's very, very lucky to go out with her and do those with the children. It was lovely. I think Arthur was getting a bit fed up, though, after a while. Bless him. I think he must have been about seven then. And, you know, it was a very, very... I remember when we went to, I think it was, well, we went to Stonehenge. I don't know what else. We did something else that day. And um, we went to another monument straight after. I think he'd had enough because it was really hot. I remember him almost refusing to get out of the car. <laughs> but bless him. No trouble usually. <laughs> Okay, so let's put that back on there. Put my tool away. And we're going to stamp something else on. Alright, let's see. What shall we? Um, oh, it would be nice to actually stamp this little dragonfly. And the word dragonfly would be quite nice. Let's just put that there for a minute. Okay, so if we do that, I'm going to stamp that down here like this. Okay, that's good. And then little dragonfly. I do love dragonflies. I like going for a walk around. We've got a couple of reservoirs near us and also the canal. We're very lucky. We've got the canal, reservoirs, and we've also got um, river. So whenever you go to any of those places, there's always a dragonfly flying around. I'm going to put that like that. Oh, that's lovely. And I'm going to go mad and put one over the instructions for the tomato soup. But you'll still be able to read them. One there. Oh, look at that. Didn't that come out lovely? Wow. So impressed with that. Let's put one flying over Stonehenge. So we'll put one that way. And there's a large dragonfly in the foreground and you can see Stonehenge in the background. It all looks a bit 
samey colour, doesn't it, really? Unfortunately, the picture I chose to cut out for the stamp, I didn't realise it's going to kind of blend in so much with the rest of it, but um, I think that's all right. So, so let's have a look. So it's number 25. So we've got something in the shape of a triangle, and that's this stamp here. We have the formula, which is all algebraic. I don't know what it means. I don't know what it works out to. Um, something stencils. We've got this lovely butterfly collage here. It's a mariposa. And then we've got dragonflies. And we have the place. We have lovely Stonehenge. And that's it. So that's everything. So I think what would be nice is if I could put number 24 on for a change. Just give me a minute to... Actually, I'll just pause the video just set for a second. Right, I'm back. That was quick, wasn't it? So I've cut these out of the a page of um, the heirloom stack. I must admit, you know, that heirloom stack of paper, 180 sheets. And I know, I think there are three sheets to each design. They are really, really handy, I'm finding. So a lot of the pages are collaged and you can just take bits out, you know, pieces that you might need. So I have got, I've just cut these out of one sheet that was all collaged. So I've got 25. So I think we might put that here to kind of balance out this a bit. Like so. Then it's a bit more colourful I think okay let's just give this where I've cut it I can see it's got white around it okay Oh, I hope that's not another courier. We've had about three today. Paddy's just jumped off the bed, so he's obviously thinking it might be. He somehow seems to be able to tell who lives down here who and their cars, as opposed to who doesn't live down here and who might be delivering. Not necessarily to us, but possibly to someone else, one of our neighbours. So let's put the 25 there like that. Okay, so that is it. Hashtag CW Planner number 25. Wish I'd inked around this stamp now in black, but it wouldn't have looked like a normal stamp, really. I could have done the inside bit, but anyway, because I don't think it shows up that well. But that's it. So we have something in the shape of a triangle, a homemade stamp. We have instructions how to make tomato soup. We have formula to have all this algebra, vintage algebra piece here. And we have stenciled pieces here and here, here and these dragonflies. And the place we've chosen or I've chosen is Stonehenge. And there you have it. That is hashtag CW Planet 25. So I hope you enjoyed that, everyone. Um, take care, all of you. I hope you have a good week and it's kind to you and um, happy crafting. See you again soon. Bye bye.